Jacob Skeppis here, and today I'm going to be talking about my massing diet, otherwise known as bulking, and the protein only method. I'm going to teach you guys how to use that. So, how does muscle growth occur? Training is the stimulus which starts the muscle rebuilding process, and then our nutrition augments this process by providing the necessary energy and amino acids to build muscle tissue. So, how do we ensure that we're building muscle? Well, we need to be in a calorie surplus. That is that our body has more calories than we're burning so that we are in a state of anabolism, tissue generation, more so than catabolism, which is tissue breakdown. And 20% above your maintenance calories is a good starting point. The goal when we're massing is to build muscle. It's not an excuse to get fat. You might gain fat, but you shouldn't be getting excessively fat. So a 20% surplus is a good starting point. Obviously, we need to have sufficient protein to provide the body with the amino acids to build that muscle and to make the gains that we need to from our training. Two grams per kilo of body weight is a good fail safe. Finally, the protein only method really simplifies our nutrition. So instead of worrying about our calories, protein, carbs, fat, fiber, micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, and everything else in between, we're only gonna be tracking our calories and our protein. So, that's all I'm gonna be focusing on. In the off season, it's a good idea to only focus on the things that matter. There's a time and place for being precise and accurate, and that will be in the latter stages of my contest prep as I get closer to the stage. So guys, that's the massing diet for me at the moment and the protein only method. I'm gonna show you the foods that I eat on a daily basis and I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and enjoy. So guys, on our way to Coles to stock up for the week and get some groceries. Like I mentioned at the start of this video, I'm using the protein only method. So I'm gonna be focusing on filling my groceries uh, with protein and having a variety of protein sources uh, to keep things interesting. So. Let's stock up and see what we can get. Budget's about 250, so we're gonna make sure we keep it under that. So guys, as I get my fruits and vegetables, I wanted to preface this video with the fact that you are all able to eat any foods that you like as part of your diet and don't need to eat exactly what I eat to build muscle. These are the foods that I enjoy eating and it's important to understand the big picture when it comes to nutrition. And that is that our calorie intake drives our weight gain or weight loss and our macronutrient intake is extremely important. Now, although I am using the protein only method and I'm only concerned primarily with my calories and my protein intake, that's not to say that I neglect all other aspects of my diet, such as my fiber intake, my carbohydrate intake, or my fat intake. I ensure that I have a pretty well balanced diet in amongst the protein and the calorie goals. So guys, I'm about to explain what fruits and vegetables that I do consume, and then it's gonna be a live video with me explaining the protein sources I use and the other items I pick for my food intake. So if you want to get big and jacked, you have to have gluten-free, just kidding, put that shit back on. So finish up the fruit and vegetable now. I've got some sweet potato, some broccoli and cauliflower to go with my meats. I've got spinach, cucumber, tomato, mushroom and avocado for my salads during the week. And then my fruit sauces this week, along with my frozen berries and bananas, is some strawberries and some apples. So now it's time to get my protein. Gonna get some chicken, beef, lamb and fish for the week. And it's it. Burgers. Salmon. Amigas, baby.
You know the bodybuilder can have chicken breast. Period. Some round steaks. Delicious on the barbecue. Lamb backstrap. This shit is the best. On the pan. Herbs, spices. Yeah. So now that I've got the bulk of my diet, I've got my meats and my veg, it's time to get all the additional extras. So we're gonna get some peanut butter. I'm a big fan of the crafts. Light, crunchy. Bread, although it's not typically a bodybuilding food, um, I do love to have steak sandwiches, chicken sandwiches, and peanut butter on toast like a normal human being. It fits within my calories and I'm hitting my protein targets, it's A-OK. -okay. With Easter coming up, I'm not going to refrain. It's the off season, so I'm going to enjoy some Oreo milk chocolate eggs. As long as they fit within my calories and I'm hitting my protein, we're golden. Anyone that knows me well knows how much I love cereal, and this is one of my favorites. A little bit higher in fiber than most other cereals, and a great addition to the diet. So oats, just to mix it up with my cereals, another addition, and if you don't eat oats, you're not a bodybuilder, so I'm trying to be a bodybuilder. So in the off season, I actually consume full cream milk. When dieting, I'll typically have almond milk, but because I got additional calories, full cream milk's a great source of protein, high in casein, and is a great staple in the diet to top up protein intake. So one of the staples in building muscle growth is obviously gonna be these supplements here on the show. Just kidding. You gotta put that shit back and focus on getting the protein in. So one of my favorite snacks is actually shapes and Despite not being part of a typical bodybuilding diet and you know off-season plan, I enjoy them, so I'm gonna make them work within my diet. I won't eat a whole box in one sitting, but I might eat it over a couple of days and fit that into my weekly calorie target. So, really convenient and cheap way to get your protein intake up is tin fish. So, if you don't like tin fish, well, have a protein shape, because that's also cheap and easy, but, Tin fish is a great way to get protein in if you're on a budget. So I'm a big fan of tuna and salmon. Today I'm gonna to get some tuna because I've already got the salmon fresh and I like to get it flavored. So I'm gonna have a look. I'm a big fan of the John West Streets of Asia flavors. Get four of these bad boys. Four of these. And eating two at a time is always a good idea because you'll get about 30 grams of protein. If you only eat one, you're only getting 15 grams of protein. So probably have two tins per serve to make sure that you're reaching the threshold to maximize protein synthesis. Another cheap and easy protein source that people often forget about is beans. So this has 15 grams of protein per serve. So another great way to top up your protein intake that's cheap, easy, and delicious if you cook it properly. So this is what I cook my uh, chicken and vegetables in to add flavor. It's just a tomato, onion, and garlic sauce. So this is a you know favorite sauce of mine. It's a light, low calorie sweet chili sauce. So it's actually only got four calories per serve and is a great addition to your meats, your salads, anything in between. Basmati or brown rice, doesn't really matter. Calories are calories, carbs are carbs. Um, it's basically down to personal preference. Don't worry about the glycemic index. Um, I get the quick cups because they're quick and easy, as the name suggests. I'm always in a rush, so anything that I can use a microwave for is extremely beneficial and a great carb source. So. I'll get the jasmine, just because I want to prove the bros wrong, bro. So a great way to get flavor into the food without the additional calories is just some flavorings, herbs and spices. Really simple, add it to your meats, add it to your salads, 
Um, give us some flavour. Getting some sweetener um, for my coffees. Purely because I don't like to add calories unnecessarily. I prefer to eat my calories. Sweeteners don't cause cancer. They're not going to kill you. A few a day, unless you're a rat, isn't going to hurt. Just some light balsamic vinegar as a dressing on my salad. Really easy, it's already done. Low calories so that I can eat my calories because I like to eat. Can't have steak without barbecue sauce. And again, I just choose the low calorie option because I like to eat. As I'm sure you can tell from my grocery basket, I like a lot of food. So Greek yogurt and Chobani specifically, another great protein source. Very high in protein, awesome with your cereals, your berries, your fruit, and is a great alternative to always eating meat and eggs and things like this. Got some free range eggs because we've got to look after our chickens and do what's right. Make sure you eat the yolks, great source of fats. So with my sandwiches, I actually love mozzarella cheese. And this one in particular is really high in protein as well. So it has 31 grams of protein per 100 grams. So a great addition to a bit of variety in the diet. Anyone who knows me knows how much I love a bowl of berries with protein and oats. It's gotta be a staple in the diet. We'll actually be getting about 10 packs of these. So yeah. So when I'm dining, you'll often see me eat skinny cow ice creams. However, the Mars Bar ice creams have only 120 calories per serve, same as the skinny cow. And you know what, because I've got the extra calories in my massing diet, I'm gonna eat them. I'm gonna eat them, I'm gonna enjoy them, I'm gonna love them, they're gonna be great. So guys, finished my shopping for the week. As you can see, a lot of variety in my diet. I like to keep it pretty flexible and enjoyable. I don't like eating the same foods every day, so I mix up my protein sources, I mix up my carb sources, my fruits, my veggies, and so forth. Time to enjoy. So that was $220 for all that food. Sounds like a lot up front, but across seven days, that's $30 a day. There's six meals a day into this, which means $5 a meal. So quite cost effective when you break it down like that. And again, this will last me about a week, so always a good buy at Coles.